be hate. Like, I'm not even gonna hold y'all. When I be chilling and just be doing my thing, I do not be having on no makeup, like, at all. So, if y'all see me without makeup, like, it's 4th of July. Um, I'm currently sitting outside of Juicy Crab waiting on my food to get ready because I know hella people is going to be barbecuing and shit like that. So, if I do end up doing something today, um, I at least want to have me, like, a boil or something like that because, obviously, I don't eat meat. So, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm waiting on that. And I don't know if I'm going to go out later. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Cause I don't. I got some seafood. I got some seafood. Just got a combo with mussels, shrimp, and some crawfish. And a corner of potato. Yep, about to eat this, and then let me see y'all later. So, hi. Um, I'm getting ready to go to this like little hookah lounge thing because y'all I just didn't feel like a club I, I thought I wanted to go to a day party but y'all I'm just like so over it and I'm going to take my book I'm going to take a manifestation journal I'm going to take my business journal and I'm going to handle some business y'all because it's a lot of things that I have to start planning for so every day i tell myself every day i'm gonna be productive and because i don't really want to go out and actually go celebrate the holidays well i don't really want to sit in this house either so i'm gonna go catch me a little vibe by myself smoke me a little hookah write down some of ideas for my business that's just the only thing about living away from home is that holidays really don't feel like holidays let's get up because normally on a normal monday y'all i'm not even gonna lie to you on a normal monday i will sit probably in my house and probably just be chilling for real for real because mondays are like my chill days because i'm usually like recovering from working all weekend Lighting is terrible but y'all i just made it to the place and i am about to go in catch me a little vibe i see somebody in there on their laptop so it's like a little coffee hookah type of vibe and i think i'm gonna really really love coming here uh, mind you i've been trying to find like new places in my new area that i stay in now to like go to to like you know chill and stuff like that you see this being like one of those places where i just want to go smoke some hookah drink some coffee get a smoothie and do my work so you know as far as my business goes shut down i'm not in school no more so yeah um i don't know if they have music playing this is my first time here so i don't know if they have music playing but regardless i'm probably not gonna talk to you all but you guys will be seeing me you know smoking my hookah doing my vibes trying to take care of this business y'all um i should have brought my laptop um i didn't next time i come here i will um don't i don't mind my nails y'all i'm probably not gonna be able to get my nails done for a little minute because this pinky if y'all could see it doesn't have a nail on it and i don't even want to put press-ons on it because it's going to get on my skin i'm just scared to put that glue and all of that so um yeah i'm about to go in though and i'm gonna talk to y'all later Y'all, when I say this was literally the most peaceful thing ever, like, I literally spent some time just planning my business and just making sure that I had everything together. And it was just such a vibe in there. And I could really see myself going there a lot to read, to journal, to just think and get, like, away from the house, get away from the club and just have a peace of mind. So, yeah, I really enjoyed my day today. So y'all decided to come by the pool and just catch a vibe. I had brought me some wine and a book to read. Here's my cup. We had the wine. The wine was almost gone, child. And yeah, just cool vibe. So y'all, look what I got. I finally got Alexa. And it's blue, like this light blue, like the same blue that uh, matches my phone. Alexa, show for my Apple Music playlist. Queen and Jay's station from Apple Music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
ended up catching Alexa on sale for $20. And I'm so excited about this because I said I wanted a speaker and I said I wanted an Alexa. So it came with this free light bulb thing. Um, I None of my lights are like regular light bulbs for this. So until I get like a lamp or something, I'm just going to keep it in my tech crate or whatever. But this was free. It came with this. So yeah. give me some um food to eat or whatever because i'm hungry um i cannot wait to go grocery shopping and it's just to go get me something to eat and honestly just get ready for work later i really don't have too much to do today y'all when i say i have been like so productive when it comes to my business i have been I've really been trying to really look at everything and just make sure everything is good to go for when I'm ready to launch. Launching. I wish I knew when I was launching, but I don't um, yet. Really documenting this just because I just want to have something to look back on and be like, oh my gosh, I remember when I was trying to do this and, you know, it worked out and what's popping y'all so i'm currently getting ready for work um i've actually been getting ready since about five something um i did do my real hair i love it i got my two buns and then i got like some real dramatic edges with some curls going down and like some little two little bags i just wanted something real cute but different because it's me let me set my face though real quick hold on y'all Try not to get my hair. I don't even know where they went. I make a stop at the ATM before I go to work. Usually I go to the ATM like at the beginning of the week. I usually never wait to the end of the week. Um, but for whatever reason. Oh, I know why I didn't go because it was Monday. It was Monday was um 4th of July and I had to go to work Tuesday. I don't know why I forgot to do it Tuesday or yesterday, but um I had thought about it. I looked at my bank account. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't go deposit my money. Like, how careless of me, like, for real. So that's what I'm going to do before I go to work. I have hella time, though. It's nothing but, like, um, I don't even think it's 7 yet. It's, like, 6, probably, like, 6, 10, 6, 15, 6, 20, around there. I have to be at work at 8, of course. I was probably a little bit. Right now, I'm kind of just, like, chilling, trying to, um, usually, like, when I get ready, and like, I know I'm doing something like different, especially like with my natural hair. Like me personally, what I do is I get ready early so I can see it. So I can see if I like it. But I don't know. I think I'm probably going to take these two back and just have it two buns and then just having the curls on the side. Because I don't know. I don't know if it's doing too much or if it's cute. I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. All right, y'all. So I just made it back upstairs from taking my cleaning supplies to my car. After work, I'm gonna spend a night at my student housing um, old spot because in the morning, I'm gonna wake up, clean it out, deep clean it, and um, turn in my keys tomorrow. Um, Cause surprisingly, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> um, really because I kinda was just using that spot still for like nights where I didn't wanna get on the expressway and come all the way home. Cause I'm not, I'm, my new place isn't far from my job. It's only about 15 minutes, but 15 minutes on the expressway versus eight minutes on a back street. I was going there some nights just to go to sleep and then wake up and then just come back here. But I barely was there anyway. So before everyone else started moving out, uh, busy, I'm gonna just go ahead and just turn in my keys let them do the little work walk walk through and just do what it what they gotta do i'm gonna show y'all what the spot look like because if you if you knew then you knew like if you paid attention to my balls then you knew where i was staying but then if you didn't know you know um and just to be honest y'all i really hated staying there y'all i freaking hate it i cannot stress it enough like i hated staying in that spot first of all student housing apartment is just stressful anyways like those type of living situations are just stressful anyways but i really really hated that specific one because it was always dirty it was dog poop and dog pee everywhere um my personal roommates they were cool i didn't have any problems without with them as far as like 
personality wise but when it came to the cleanliness it was horrible first of all i was the second person in that unit the shit was already dirty like my roommate the one that like stayed like it was because it was four of us i stayed in the four by four it was four of us in the unit and everybody had their own room and bathroom and we had to share the living room and kitchen so when i first walked in it was basically a 35 year old and she was in there with her girlfriend and she was just her personality she was really sweet and really cool but she just could not stay clean for shit so y'all i'm gonna be honest which is kind of why if y'all could kind of tell like by my face and even like by my arms i kind of gained a little weight because y'all i was always eating out like i did not cook like when it came to cooking in that place i did not cook because from the day one since i went in there the refrigerator had bugs in it um, the roommate that I was just telling y'all about, she always kept old ass food just in there. Um, she kept the windows open. So it, it was always bugs flying in. It's mold in there. It was just so disgusting. So that's the reason why, like, I'm kind of glad to have my own like space now because it was just so freaking stressful. When I say it was stressful, it was stressful living there. Like it used to always stink. Um, I didn't even decorate, which is why I didn't show my room as much because I did not decorate um, my room just because I did not like it. I just didn't like it. I didn't I said I wasn't gonna spend no money decorating that shit. Now this apartment, I don't care. I'm gonna spend whatever to get this apartment how I want. After a while I'll be done furnishing this place in a minute. But anyway, that's kinda off topic. But yeah, y'all, I'm just so happy to, you know, be in my own career, be in my own space. It's my first time living like by myself. I've always lived with someone. So this is like my first time just really, really living by myself. And so far, so good. Like I've been more productive in my own space. I find myself cleaning up more. I feel like becoming more organized and just, just better all, all in general. Cause that student housing shit that, or just that unit period. Then it was always an issue with trying to get the packages because they had to go through a package room. Um, What else I had problems with staying there? Really just the cleanliness. It was just horrible. I didn't like it. But I thugged it out though. And for that, I thank God. Um, Cause it was some months I was like, I do not want to pay this fucking rent. Like this shit is disgusting. I don't like it. Why am I paying this rent? Why am I paying almost a thousand dollars to stay somewhere I do not like every month. But I did what I had to do. And um, luckily I had did the reason why I was able to move early before my lease was up, because y'all, my lease isn't up to the end of July. And I had moved into this apartment June 1st. And my lease in my old apartment wasn't up to July 31st. Um, luckily, when I had ended up moving to, um, when I ended up moving to that spot, I, they had like an option to where I could do like a prepaid addendum basically. And so basically what that is, is you pay for your first month and then your last two months up front so that's what i did so my first month rent was paid for i just had to pay my second third four five so on so on and then when it came to month um 11 and 12 i didn't have to pay because i had already paid for that up front so that gave me leeway to move now i could have did two options like i could have moved just the way i did like just move like once the you know 10 months was up they did the 40 full year and then just use the last two months to kind of stack but y'all when i say i tried to hold on i could not hold on no more i had to get i had to get the fuck y'all i ain't gonna lie i had to leave like i was so ready and i'm gonna show y'all the room once i finish cleaning it out and just show y'all um why i hate it so much um and you guys will see it and it's it's i'm not gonna really just try to bash the apartment complex as much but they need to really like move everybody out there and just really redo them if they redo those apartments and i mean redo them like thoroughly clean them remodel them those apartments will be cool because one thing i can say the pro the con those were all the cons of staying there but the pros was love the location the location is in like west midtown i loved it i love that location i literally was trying to find some apartments that were still in that location however they just didn't fit my budget i'm gonna rent to y'all and just give y'all a rundown because i met i'm gonna try to like vlog that a little bit tomorrow but i probably won't get you no know, content until like the weekend so here we are officially out of this well i've been out of this but you know um 
I will then clean it up all the way. So I just came, I finally got the little stuff that I had in like storage here because I kind of used them still as a storage. And I'm inside cleaned out. But y'all, this is really why I hated this unit. Look. I used to get no sunlight, y'all. This was like so depressing. I never really use this light, but even with this light, it's still dark. This was the closet at the dresses and stuff. Just so ugh. And this was the bathroom. Yeah. That was the common area because you know people still got their stuff in there, but y'all, this is fucking disgusting. So I don't even want to show y'all that. But yeah, y'all, I'm ready to turn in my keys and I'm out. This came from hard work. I've been running up and down steps, moving stuff. It's been me. So that's why my hair looks like this. Post it says, this is how you find out who your real friends are. And this is a picture of you haul and basically saying, like, you find out your real friends, like, when you get ready to move, y'all. That is how I feel. Nobody came to help me. <laughs> but honestly, I really didn't ask y'all because I can move from a student house into regular apartments, so I really didn't have anything big to move. But I did have a lot of stuff, like a lot of clothes. Uh, this is the outcome. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, um, I am... Probably about to end this vlog here um, because I don't think I'm going to vlog anymore today. And if I do vlog tomorrow, um, I'm just going to add it on to the new vlog. So make sure you guys um, stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. If you aren't subscribed to this channel, more vlogs are coming. Y'all, I'm back in that mode. Fuck, I look like chilling. Bitch, I'm in that mode. <laughs> Bitch, I'm back in that mode for real. So make sure y'all are tuned in. Like, tuned in. Like, my subscribers have been growing. Even though a girl ain't been posting. But, you know, I gain subscribers every day. Even if it's just, like, one or two subscribers. I promise you, I gain subscribers every day. So, thank you guys so much. Um, move out is officially complete. Um, I turned in my keys. I turned in everything. Hopefully, they don't try to charge me for nothing. Because if they do, I'm going to be right back up there on their ass. Because you're not charging me for shit. I cleaned out my whole thing. And whatever is they do in the kitchen and the common area is up to them. Because I barely even use that space. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed your holidays. Enjoyed your week. And I will see y'all next week.